What's up? Thought I'd give some daily updates on this COVID-19 thing. It is March 16th, 2020. Uh, today's the first day of Maryland's shutdown. Larry Hogan just today said that everything is gonna be closing at 5 p.m. Got a haircut, because who knows how long these things are gonna be closed. This might be the last time I leave my house for a while. More stuff is shut down as of this morning, so all non-essential businesses have been closed, and I'm working on some puzzles to keep you busy. This stay-at-home order starts tonight at 8 p.m. Can't leave the house, otherwise it's could be up to a $500 fine and up to a year in jail uh, as a misdemeanor. A lot of cases in Maryland, especially in Montgomery County. This is supposed to be a hell week in terms of numbers. We already lead the world in number of cases and um, just hoping for the best. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. It's 420, 20. Doesn't feel like 420, shaking my head. Uh, today, Hogan got 200,000 testing kits from South Korea. That's good, we can get more people tested. Uh, some states are starting to ease restrictions. I feel like Maryland will not for a while. Uh, I don't know, but right now it's still a stay at home order. Still going strong, getting in need of a haircut here. Uh, Hogan yesterday or a couple days ago announced he was starting his plan for recovery, which will come in three stages. So we're hoping stage one will lift the stay at home order and then it kind of gets more and more gradual from there, but that's not gonna happen until hospital numbers decline and nothing will progress if the hospital numbers go back up. I don't think we're ever gonna get out of here. Welcome to day one billion. Looks like we are still going to be here for a while and I need a haircut. Big day for updates. First of all, and most importantly, the mustache is gone. Second update is Hogan announced that schools are gonna be closed for the rest of this year, but stuff like tennis courts, golf, Recreational activities will reopen tomorrow morning and hospital um, numbers were on the decline. So we are starting to get there. No really big updates, but I cut my own hair. I think I'm gonna start doing this from now on. Save some money. Not too much has changed here. Maryland is starting to enter into phase one, but not in Montgomery County or PG County. Uh, Hogan announced most of Maryland is officially in phase one. Montgomery County will start opening stuff up on June 1st. This includes some outdoor restaurant seating and outdoor activities. So we are very, very slowly starting to improve as hospital numbers continue to go down. So that's good. Maryland has been pretty steady. We're in phase two, getting about 400 new cases a day. The rest of the world is in complete chaos in states like North Carolina, Texas, Florida, California, Arizona are all peaking with thousands of cases per day. We are not finishing the first wave, getting ready for the second one. We're just keep on riding that first wave and I don't know what's gonna happen, but Maryland's doing okay, but the rest of the country is not doing super hot, but we're all wearing masks and stuff, so that's something. The debate is still, should schools be open? Uh, yesterday, it seems like even private schools have to be closed, otherwise they'll face a fine. That's kind of the big debate going on right now. Oh, and Trump's main argument is we are only having more cases because we are testing more. If we tested less, we would have less cases. Uh, elections this week. Trump thinks we're over the hump, even though we are in a surging third wave with the most single day cases since we started. So we're not done yet but we're acting like we are, and it's a mess, like usual. We are in the surging wave of winter slash fall. It's the most cases we've ever seen so far, which isn't good. Some places are talking about another lockdown. Cases are still really bad, but the vaccine from two companies whose names escape me are starting to be distributed around the place. So I think it's first gonna go to frontline workers and then immunocompromised, so Maybe some hope on the horizon. So we made it past the worst year ever. Two bad deaths are at an all time high and this is coming five days after the storm of the Capitol building. So 2021 is not making a great impression so far, but the vaccines are being distributed a lot more. I think there are at 9 million people in the US vaccinated so far. The organized Reddit plan attack on Wall Street has gone well. GameStop's at an all time high. Uh, so are COVID deaths. Just got my second vaccine appointment. So we are in business to uh, minimizing this thing. It's still getting some cases, but a lot more people are getting vaccinated, especially in Maryland. And in, I think a quarter of the US has had at least one dose. So we're on our way. Uh, vaccinations are keep going up and cases are coming down. Um, the mask mandate was lifted uh, in Maryland and a lot of other states. Um, 
for people that are fully vaccinated. There's a lot of people that don't wear it even if they're not, but I guess you can't really control that. But either way, it looks like things are starting to reach some normalcy uh, as long as the vaccinations keep going up, so we'll see. And I'm not quite sure when I'm gonna stop making these. Hogan said we will no longer be in a state of emergency as of July 1st. Um, the Delta variant is still kind of going around and vaccination rates are kind of slowing down a bit. But I mean, everything's kind of opened up. So I don't know. In Maryland, the state of emergency has ended and I don't know when to stop making these videos. COVID's and over. COVID's over. It went out with a whimper, not a bang. So until next pandemic, <laughs> see you later.